Hey guys, it's Jason Robel, AKA J Row, rocking out here with the Sun Warrior Tribe. And you may or may not know that part of my lineage and ethnicity is from Puerto Rico, right? I talk about that sometimes on my TV show and here on YouTube, but today I wanna to show you some old school Puerto Rican flavor courtesy of my mom, who is not Puerto Rican, she's actually Polish, but back in the day she used to make this Puerto Rican recipe. I'm talking about this. Come on, don't you know what this is? You're like, it's a giant banana, no. Oh, it's a giant squat. No, this is a plantain, also known as platana. And what we're gonna do is take this giant, starchy, beautiful fruit, and we're gonna turn it into a delicious and easy dessert recipe. So, fire it up and get ready to rock. So what we want to do is we wanna take a plantain, a large plantain like this, and instead of uh, bludgeoning someone with it, we wanna slice it up. So this is what it looks like, and you are correct in the inside also looks kind of banana-ish. And what we want to do to prepare our plantains is take some extra virgin coconut oil and add it to a large skillet. And what you want to do is bring this to a medium high heat. And then once the coconut oil is melted, which does not take long over a medium high flame, we want to add our plantains. So let's let these guys cook and we're gonna flip the script soon. Okay guys, so after about seven to eight minutes, flipped halfway through, we've got these awesome, crispy, crunchy, sweet grilled plantains. And now what I want you to do is grab a paper towel, put it over a plate, and then we wanna let the excess oil drain off of a plantain chips here. And now, I'm gonna show you the easiest, most delicious coconut whipped cream recipe ever. So, what you need to do is grab some full fat coconut milk. You want to put this in the fridge for a minimum of 24 hours because what's gonna happen is the cream separates from the liquid. It makes it easier to pour off the excess liquid and uh, scoop out all that delicious coconut cream here, all that leftover cream. And I want to add to the base here about a half tablespoon, maybe a couple teaspoons of organic vanilla extract. And to sweeten, I like stevia in this case. So let's do about eight or 10 drops. Now it's time to beat it, beat it. So what you want to do is grab a pretty plate and get your plantains here and lay them down. And what we're going to do is garnish them with some of our coconut whipped cream. Okay, so one of the messy ones is going straight down the hatch. Here we go. Mm. That's a taste of the islands right there, baby. So if you guys dug my recipe, Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. What's your absolute favorite way to use plantains? Have you ever used a plantain? And have I convinced you to become a plantain lover? Let me know. Hey guys, this is Jay Rowe rocking out here with the Sun Warrior Tribe, bringing you delicious vegan recipes and vibrant living tips. Be sure to subscribe here to their YouTube channel and check out my channel, The Jay Rowe Show, for weekly vegan recipes. And I will catch you guys on the flip side soon. Big shout out tomorrow for the recipe inspiration. Peaches. The only downside of this recipe is it disappears very quickly. I should call this Houdini. Houdini plantains, all right? Mmm, so good. Me like, me like.